Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we are going to be doing something really fun. I'm calling them the DIY Nuclear Fire Nuggets, so stick with me. So for this project, we actually got the idea from our good friends over at Purifier Tactical. They took duct tape and magnesium shavings and they sent this to, or to us. So what that does is it creates a very hot burning um, wick, but the duct tape is very flammable, but it kind of controls the speed. So something like this could last about 30 to 60 seconds. Well, I wanted to have some fun and try my little hand at doing something a little different. So basically we're going to be taking the duct tape and the magnesium shaving, same concept. Now I actually have an ingot that I'm going to have to uh, shave down myself and trust me that is not no easy task. But we're going to be collecting some magnesium, we're going to be using wet fire, the flammable wick inside the paratender that we got from UST and we are also going to be using fatwood to create what I am going to dub nuclear fire nuggets for a fun little project. So follow along. So right here we're actually using the Smith's Tender Maker and uh, Jen aka Outdoor Mama is collecting fatwood shavings to put into that bowl. Now once she's done with that I am also going to be collecting magnesium shavings using the striker and striking down and collecting in this bowl. Now once we have all that we're going to be breaking down a few tablets of wet fire, wet fire to sprinkle in some awesome goodiness. And then we are going to lay horizontally across the length of the duct tape the fire wick that's inside the paratender. Now once all that done, I'm sure you can imagine we're going to take the duct tape and wrap it in and create a just this really, really disgusting and very potent fire starter. And hopefully it'll work the way I want to by basically being the best fire starter I've ever seen. Now for ease of use and simplicity, what we're going to be doing with the wet fire is we're going to be using it over the grate just the same way so we can get nice powdered shavings and that way we don't have to waste our time just scrubbing this thing up, you know, hacking this stuff away. It's really soft material, it burns really, really well and honestly standalone it's awesome but this is just a fun DIY project that we're doing just to, uh, you know, for giggles. Alright, we probably have enough. I, I went ahead and used three cubes just to make. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we got enough. Looks like coconut actually. It's kind of cool. So we have like wet fire powder. That's awesome. So that's what three cubes made. It like fluffed up to like a powdered sugar coconut stuff. It's kind of awesome. So this will be freaking sweet. So this should. Oh, all three of these magnesium, fatwood, and wet fire all in one. That should be just an absolutely devastating potent combination. All right, so we have our piece of duct tape, the strip laid out, it's about 16 inches long, and we put the fire wick right down the middle from the paratender. Now, then we are gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna just sprinkle on the outside and then roll it up, and then we're gonna be clipping it into small sections. Alright, so I'll let you kind of see what we got going on. And that is the psychotic concoction. We have the firework tinder, fatwood, powdered wet fire, and shaved magnesium. Ugh, all wrapped up in a flammable duct tape solution. So if this works, this could be interesting. So we have our uh, little duct tape roll going. Um, we had to use another piece because we couldn't get the adhesive working. 
So what we're probably going to do for like the next batch, will still be in this video, is we're actually going to take the duct tape and instead of actually laying everything in the middle, is we're going to lay all the ingredients off to one side and then roll it like that. So that's kind of what they look like. They have everything inside. We did two rolls of duct tape and we have the firework kind of sticking out on this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go we'll hit it with a lighter, then we're gonna hit it with a fire steel and kind of see how it catches. All right, first one's gonna be with a lighter. That caught really fast. Now we're noticing the two layers of duct tape doing a really good job of slowing this thing down and letting this little tiny one inch size nugget last a really long time. You're gonna see some of the magnesium popping and flickering everywhere, it's kinda cool. The flame's pretty substantial and it's lasted over two minutes, so I'm not mad at this at all. All in all, this is kind of a fun project, I like it. and it's still technically on fire, that's so awesome. So we got a new nugget, and I'm gonna be using my lightning strike fire steel because I mean, if the best one can't do it, my other ones are gonna have a hard time as well. Hey, there we go. So it can be lit with a fire steel, that's awesome. Oh, thanks babe. So we're gonna turn this thing sideways so you can see it burning, and we're just gonna let it run on time lapse. So it's definitely exceeded the three minute mark again, which is really awesome. That's letting me know that there is some consistency in the way that I built this. It's really good. But um, if you like this video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. This was a really fun project for us to kind of have some silliness and some fun and experiment with some different items based off of a really cool idea by our friends at Pure Fire Tactical. They're the ones who invented this and I just kind of had some fun with it and ran with the idea. Um, but what we're going to be doing is grabbing the first prototype and wrapping it around and let you guys watch a big long burn, which should be a lot of fun to see how long a big huge tube of that would last. Something I want to let everybody know is we are still running our pre-sale for our DFS logo Drop Forward Survival t-shirts. Definitely drop down in the description box below to check out the link for that where you can pre-order our shirts, rock some swag, and help support our channel. All right, it is caught, and now we're gonna set the timer and just let this thing sail away. This is absolutely mind blowing. We're at the 11 minute mark and this thing hasn't even looped around to get to its other side. This could easily last over 45 minutes. This is crazy. This is so absolutely insane how long this fire started lasting. This was, I did this for giggles and a joke to see how well this would work. And I literally accidentally created one of the longest lasting fire starting sticks on, like on the planet. This is absolutely wild. We have literally broke around the halfway point and we're still going over 20 minutes. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I've, I'm, and I am staying here the whole time with a fire extinguisher in case I need it, but 
Wow, this is, oh, this is awesome. This is literally starting to be one of the longest running fire starters I've ever seen in my entire life. And this was a DIY project. This is what makes this so exciting for me. it make it to 30 minutes. That's literally been my big huge goal for this, is for this to last 30 minutes as a fire starter. I'll be super, super stoked if it works. Oh, come on, it only needs 60 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Last, last for 30 minutes. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, this is exciting to have a fire starter you made yourself last almost 30 minutes, it's crazy. excited for you guys to have stuck around and who watched all this but um that just about does it for now i hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day i'm out <sighs> oh okay, that doesn't work i guess that's a good sign huh it's still going it's still going. I can't blow it out. It's still going. This is crazy. It's the fire starter that doesn't want to die. <laughs> it just keeps flaring up.